So yeah, I restarted my save last night. I mean, this morning. Because my save from last night was in optimal. And I felt like I could do better, so I restarted it. And I'm already level 6, I think. And I'm basically just, at the moment, just hunting for balls, really. I haven't made a base yet. I haven't decided where to make my base yet. I'm just currently uh, walking around and collecting and um, collecting paws and boy wives, but we don't talk about that. I only got one boy wife so far. I intend to get at least one more before I I settle down and build a base. What the hell is that? Lee Spunk. Level 10. Damn, that thing is strong. Can I capture it? I don't, I don't know if I have enough arrows for something that strong. Bro, he's attacking me alongside the syndicate, so I, I, I'm kind of running away. Trying to recover some health. There's way too many syndicate pugs here. Um, Thugs here. Ow. Bro. I don't want to die. Before I, I find out what's up there. I know they're f uh, the syndicate thugs are fighting someone down there. I'm pretty sure. Please go away. Thank you. Damn, he's coming back, isn't he? Incineram? I don't have one of those yet. This is wool. I could use that, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not sticking around to figure out what's that. This shouldn't be up during the day, it's weird. It's a night, night Paul. Ooh, a male day, daydream. I don't have one of those yet. No! God damn it! Oh, it's rotating perfectly so I can't hit it! 
Look at that. Your homie missiles are not going to be able to reach me. No! Bro. I gotta run. Oh. Man, I don't want to die. Not yet. Sedge. Major Sedge. Uh, damn it. Where was I? I don't even know where I was. Hmm. I think I was here somewhere. Bro. That's brutal. Yeah, I'm gonna respawn here. Because I think I was right there when I died. All the way up there. That's what makes sense according to the map. Show player location. Where was I? Oh, see, I was there. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna respawn here so I can go back there. I hope I find some arrows on the way. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to craft them. How many more do I have left? Only, only a few. few. Bro. Also, what's on top of that thing? Hold on, someone's messaging me. I killed my Texas Peach? Yeah, I did. I, I intentionally killed my TTS. Is it... um... You do want me? Okay, I'll put the TS back on. Whatever. Hold on. There, you have TTS again. Even though I can actually look at chat during this game, just like Genshin. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, I want to explore that thing. I want to see what that thing is. It could be a chest. You know what? If I'm gonna have to TTS, I don't need to look at the chat screen. I can just minimize it. Also, is my mic a bit low? Hold on, let me try to fix that. Microphone. Levels. No, it's at 100. It should be good. It seems to be at max, so... Let's put some music on. Um, there we go. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, I wanna climb up there. Bro, I have so many eggs from roaming everywhere. They're, up, they're basically slowing me down. See? Now I, I'm overweight again. I'm gonna have to abandon something. Oh, this egg is huge! It weights 25 grams or 25 kilos, whatever. I'm gonna have to drop materials because of it. I didn't want to do that, but. Let me see how if I can remove last wood. Wait. 
wait, wait, wait. Will seven be enough? No. Okay, we should be good now. The more eggs I find, the less materials I can carry, basically. Yay! It's an effigy. I can use this to gain um, powers. Powers. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't funny. Anyway. Ooh, oh my god, there's another egg right there! Bro! What do you think I am? I'm not a... Hen mother? Stop giving me eggs! Yeah, uh, this time at least it doesn't weigh as much. Two wood should be enough for it. Yeah. Okay, wh where was I? I need to go. Where's my mat? Okay, I need to go here somewhere. Keep going up until I reach that point again. Because I'm pretty sure I saw some re really rare paws up there. So yeah, I basically restarted my game because uh, I figured I made my base too soon and did in a bad place and I bod bothered making a base before I actually explored and had fun collecting pals. So this time around, I built, I built nothing. I'm just going around collecting pals for now. And I'm not, I'm not even worried about where I'm gonna put my bla my base. And I've only collected male paws. This is a male club only. No cooties allowed. Cooties will be disallowed. So it's strictly male. Okay, I remember. I gotta climb that thing. That's it. That's what it is. Vixie, I don't think I have one of those. I don't. Now I'm gonna have one. Yay! It looks cute. Hello. Yay! The idol of Papago's Island. If you bully a Vixie, you best be prepared to become enemies with the whole world. Wow! I well just bullied one by capturing it. So come at me.
yeah, this place is crazy. Look at that. There's some huge mountains that look like spears. Yeah, this is where I was before. Pretty sure there's a scuffed church there, up there somewhere. Not scuffed, just like old and broken. I already got a left monk. Yeah, I remember crossing this bridge. All my pals are dead. Not dead, but like... Actually, I can use this one. They're not dead. They're just... You gotta go to a... Uh, Paul box to revive to get him to not be downed anymore. Only cream is still alive. All the other ones got creamed. Only cream is just not creamed. Another syndicate thug. I got a Jolt Hog. They're very, very cute. I got one of, one of those. Bro. Why are you people so annoying? Good job, Kremas. You just creamed them. Right, what, what else do we have? Another uh, effigy. Look at those guys, they're so cute. I'm so glad I got one. They're like Pikachu. They're also electrical. Okay, am I going the right way still? Um. I gotta keep going that way, I think. I gotta go up that stone spiral. Stone whatever. Okay, edible eggs. I'll take those. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't think before I did that. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what it was running away from when I died. Run! They're fighting some someone else. They're basically fighting every pole in the world around them. Bro, don't come at me. I oh shit! That does a lot of damage. I didn't do anything. Come on. Gotta wait until I recover that. This guy's still a lot of damage. Wait, what? Bro, I Dire Wolf just took away all of my health. Dire Howl, I mean, sorry. They really don't want me up here. Bro. Stop hitting me!
There it is. There it is. That's the guy that that um, I was kind of looking at when I got myself killed right there. That big thing looks like a devil. Incinator Tron, whatever. It looks badass, but I can't really get it yet because he will kick my ass easily. Okay, why did the song change? What's this? That looks very cool and interesting, no cap. Let, let me try to save myself first. Bro, why am I so heavy? Eat, eat, eat. No! You know what? I think I'm gonna have to do something crazy. If I survive this, that is. I'm gonna have to increase my carrying capacity. Because otherwise I'm gonna keep getting... Uh, overwhelmed. Where is it? Enhanced stats? Wait. Let's add one point to wait. Thank god, okay. We're, we're, we're good, we're good. Let's just recover some health real quick. My chat is broken? Okay, uh, let me try to fix it. Yeah, TTS is working weird. Hold on, let me try to fix it. Alright, say something now. Test. Oh, I think I know what it was. Scale your plays. Test. Okay. Okay, so here's what it was. What it was. I think my I IP address changed. And now, basically, for some reason, I have to... I, I was logged off for everywhere. Because, like, I tried to type a message in chat, and now it wants me to relog everywhere. Great. Exactly what I needed midstream. Awesome. One second. Bro, why does technology have to be so convoluted in 2024? Okay, here we go. Let, let me test this set again. Test. M0X1BT. Test. Is it working now? Can I go back to the game? Scale your plays. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, yeah, so here's what happened. My IP address changed, and because of that, even though I didn't really do anything, um, Every website on planet Earth decided to log me off just because I changed it. Including Reststream and Twitch. What the hell is that thing doing? Also, what is it? Bro, you look weird. Anyway. Oh yeah, I can't- I have to have my torch out, otherwise I'm gonna freeze to death. Let's see what's on top of this. There's an egg. Watch it being an, e an egg again. Just watch. Of course it's an egg. And this one is electric. Holy crap, that's so cool. I have so many eggs right now.
Scalia plays. So I am gonna ask my question again. Okay. Are you enjoying this game so far? Bro, um, I basically opened the stream saying this is like, uh, this is addictive like crack. It's insanely addictive. I'm enjoying it so much, I actually started a new playthrough because I wasn't happy with how I began my playthrough yesterday. It's really fun. It's insanely addictive and fun. That's the problem with it. Like... It's it's just very addictive. Like, I yesterday I started by setting up my base and getting just the pals around me and so on. And right now, um, I haven't even put my base down yet. I'm just exploring and getting new pals. Before I, I settle down somewhere. So I'm taking a little bit of a different approach. And I figure I'm just going to settle later on. Once I have at least a certain amount of pals I'm happy with. Because uh, a lot of the resources you need at first, Scale like plays. arrows and... Uh, I knew it was gonna be for you. Everyone that I have watched is highly addicted to it. LMAO. True, dude, it's insane. Even people that I recommended the game to that I thought wouldn't like it are completely uh, hooked. And we're ma making plans of playing like on the weekend off stream. Me and some friends that normally do not play with me on stream because they're so addicted. What's this? Do I, ha I have a depresso. Never mind. Okay, I wanted to see what that tree was all about. Now there's nobody shooting at me, I can actually look. Grass fruit, what's that other thing? Fire fruit. And electric fruit. Holy crap, three different skill fruits. Okay, I kind of want to see um, the syndicate, what, what the syndicate was up to down there before they attacked me. So I'm going to try that. I want to also have to catch a daydream. I don't have a daydream yet. Scale your plays. A lot of my friends said to get the game, so I did and I haven't played it yet. Dude, once you start, it's hard to stop. Like, it's really hard to stop. It's very addictive. Okay, so that's a female in Cineram. It doesn't sleep, apparently. It's very high damaging, so I gotta stay away from it. There's no way I can take it down without any gear. The thugs are still up and looking for me. But I wanna get that daydream right there. If I if I can isolate it, scale your plays. I know I am gonna wait until I have more free time to play it. That's a good decision, honestly. Because once once you start, it's hard to stop. It's not just Pokemon with guns. It's Pokemon with guns, uh, a good movement mechanics, um, very good survival. Mechanics, combat mechanics, you name it. It's very smooth, very well done. I haven't run into any bugs or any problems. It just really works well. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't get that daydream right there. I hope it doesn't kill me. Because I don't have one yet. Like, right now I have the most primitive weapon, which is a bow. Then I can get a crossbow, and then a shotgun, and then uh, an assault rifle. So it really evolves quite a lot. Bro, I wasn't expecting to aggro every daydream around. Just one. There's something weird about this region. That every every poke every Paul just gets aggroed really fast. This normally doesn't happen. 
please get please get in the ball please get in the ball i'm gonna die please please got it okay okay i can die in peace now because i got him Right, now that I have my daydream, we don't have to respawn and climb all the way to the spire anymore. Um, what else do I want to go? I kind of want to explore this area more. Also, when you do start, make sure that um, you go to a, when when you first start and you create your world. Make sure that you put an option. So that you don't lose your items when you die. Go to custom difficulty. And the only thing you should change. Is that if you die you don't lose your stuff. So you, you can explore freely without losing everything whenever you die. That's really important. That's the only setting I, I changed. Because since I chose to walk around first and like grab Paul, scale you plays. So basically, keep inventory on. Got it? Yeah, exactly. Just don't allow allow the game to remove your stuff when you die. Because I chose not to build a base at first and just explore and grab Paul's. Um, I'm dying quite a lot. I'm just dying and going to different respawn points to, to see what kind of paws I can find. So once I do settle and make a base, I'm going to already have a pretty... Actually, let me just show you. These these are how many already caught. See, I've already a lot. I've already caught a lot of them. I thought I had hooker, tra hooker trees. I do have one of those. It's weird. Anyway, I did catch a lot of them as you can see. So, the idea is to kind of have a good selection before I start my base. Also, you know, starting with a lot of eggs, I can just uh, raise later. And all of these balls, I haven't crafted a single one of them. I'm just grabbing them on the world. Same for the arrows. So, at first, you can pretty much manage to not build anything and just explore. If you're careful. But, you know, some people just choose to settle down and make a base right away, which is not my case. Also, be careful with that thing. Because that deer will just run around, knocking down other paws, even if you're not hunt hunting it. And then because it's knocking everything at around... They're gonna the paws they're knocking down will become aggressive and attack you. So if you're not gonna grab it, just stay away from it. It's kind of annoying when it does that. Yeah, that's the church I, I was talking about. Scale your place. Make a base in that. Up here? Um, the reason why I, um, I don't want to build a base up here is because when you build a base, you're going to get attacked by... You're going to have raids on your base. The reason why you make a base is because you're going to get raided by like syndicate thugs and so on. So you want to make a base in a place that, have very, that has very nat high natural defenses. Up here, you can be attacked with pretty much every angle. So I personally am looking for a place that is very protected when it comes like to side and... I Preferably only has one way in and one way out instead of like having several. So it's easier to defend in case of a raid. Which is pretty much what I'm doing right now, is looking for a place that's def very defendable. But I gotta go that way, apparently. 
I did find a beach, but I figured out that the beach doesn't uh, work because it has to be on, on the earth and not sand, unfortunately. Already got one of those. They're great for seeding um, berry plantations. Scale your place. So that's where I am gonna make my base because I like having several attack points. Well, um, if you like that, then yeah, go to, for a wide open area. I prefer to have it uh, with only one entrance so that it's easier to defend. Also, I, I prefer more secluded, secluded places than up there where it's very visible. I already got alpacas as well, so I don't need that one. I already got rubies. Mamores is just too high for me to even get close to it. What is that thing? Oh yeah, I already got creamers. Scale your plays. Don't you get XP from killing the raid? Yes, you do. But again, like, um, where you build your base doesn't um, influence how many raids you get. It just influences how easy the raid is going to be. Um, to defend against because if it only has if you only have one entrance then do, then you can basically choke choke point them without too much trouble so yeah yeah when you you do get experience when you kill syndicate thugs also when you capture a human the police will try to kill you so on this on this world I cat I caught a human and the police came for me and I had to run away and they, I managed to run away they didn't kill me it was good okay also the red chest like this one needed copper key I, I, I actually have a copper key so I'm good clothing outfit schematic nice inventory is full okay let's see what we can drop here Um, this is pretty rare. I never saw this before. Let's eat this egg. Can I learn this schematic? No. Not without having a base. So I'm going to have to carry it for now. Okay, where am I going? Hold on. Yeah, okay, I'm going to the right place. Bro, who's messaging me? Hold on. Okay. Also, what the hell happened to the music? Okay, here we go. What is that? Oh, I already got a leaf monk. Leaf monk. Okay, leaf monks are the hardest pals to catch because the moment you attack them, they're gonna run away. So getting one. Scale your plays. How much fall damage do you take? Very little. Fall damage is like not very relevant in this game. It's very low. It's not a concern. It's like a little bit, but not like we'll we'll kill you. So this little guy right here, you gotta have at least a bow and arrow to catch them. Because the moment you hit him or he even sees you, he runs away. He's pretty smart and hard to catch. Already got mine though.
Okay, yeah, continue this way. See, I didn't even I didn't even take fall damage from that, and mostly you don't, unless it's like from very high up, and even then it's like irrelevant. It's just a little bit of health. Scale your plays. Good. Yeah, it's not it's not enough to be annoying. Is that the same church? No, that must be another church. It looks like the same. Am I going circles? Cause I gotta go that way. Scale your plays. Can you make bridges in this game? Yes, like, um, this is all the technology you can unlock. It's insane. Look at that. Rocket launchers. Um, but yeah, you can make you, you have you get it, like a little into it. You're gonna have to make like your hot house with roof and everything. So there's a there's like you can use basically wood to make like floorboards that you can use to make a bridge. Yes. There's also bridges that you see in the world and you can destroy if they're made of wood. Okay, this is the region I was I have I was I had to go to because I haven't explored yet. Straight ahead. Scale your plays. I have some ideas already. Also, do not mess with that boss. Do not even get close to it. It will zap you to death in one hit. It's very strong. Ooh, another effigy. See, there's paw, paw balls everywhere in the world, on the ground. So if you don't build your base right away, you can actually just Scale survive on balls you find in the front So only floor. use rocket launch on that, got it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, the weapons evolve up until rocket launcher. From a simple bow to rocket launcher. Going through a bow with three shots. Um, a bow, a fireball. Then a crossbow, a normal rifle, an assault rifle. You can give you can give like a monkey paw an assault rifle. You can take a fox fire paw and make him a flamethrower. Weapons are weapons go hard. Holy crap, that's huge. Okay, yeah, I'm going the right way. Let's see how much fall damage I'm gonna take right here. This is pretty high. None, none. Very minor. Leather. I can't carry leather. Leather is heavy. More Paul balls. I think I'm just about ready to start my base now because every single 
policy in the world already have it. So I think it's time to settle down. As soon as I find a, right, a good spot. Scale your plays. BRB in 20 minutes ish. Okay. Okay, there's a teleport right there, which is good. Do I have a rib bunny? I think I do. I don't have a dino dinosaur though. I think it's gonna kick my ass if I try to take it. Cause it's three levels above me and it's pretty damn tanky. I, I don't think I'm gonna try it cause it's gonna kick my ass. That's a more advanced pa uh, enemy. I think I need to have like a better weapon and full set of armor to try and take it. Bro, so many Paul spheres. If I keep this up, I'm never gonna have to make them. I get so many. Look at that. Now oh, the effigy. What's that up there? Ice kill fruit, ice missile. Damn, that's really interesting. I gotta clear my inventory to get it. What I'm t what what exactly can I remove here? Hold on. Bone. Sorry, bone. Ice missile is better. Bro, what's going on with the music? Okay, let me restart the music because this is annoying me. Here we go. More pulse pulse spheres all over the place. Where are we? What's this? Sweeper? I don't have that yet. Level is it? Level 11? I didn't even see it. Fox Sparks? Do I have one of those? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's the sweeper right there. It's huge. Okay, that's an area boss. We cannot take that yet. We have to get better weapons and armor to face an area boss. Let's keep on going that way. I kind of want to get a Capri, but I want a male one. This is a, a, a male only club. I don't take female paws. No cooties allowed. This is a gentleman only club. And gentlemen enjoyers. We're gonna wait until we find a milk. Capri. Yeah, 
Yeah, the dinosaur is way too high up. He's gonna destroy me. Capriti is also really strong, but I think I can take one with my Paul out. If I can get one that's like level 8 9, maybe. Oh, great, another egg! Bro, yeah, I'm gonna have to make a base soon. Because I'm gonna have to put those in a box so I can actually move around without carrying them. I just have way too many of them. Yeah, inventory full. See, this is the only problem with not having a base. Eventually, your inventory is gonna get so full that you're gonna be stuck having to select things that you have to drop. Um, everything I have is useful. I guess I can drop this Sudge, but yeah. Kinda didn't want to, but the eggs are too important. Cause you never know what they're gonna hatch into. More, more, another pulse sphere right here. Okay, I am going the right way. I was worried. Gotta keep moving forward so we can see more of the world. Can I no longer carry any eggs? I got 27 arrows left. What's in this chest? More arrows, hell yeah, and a copper key, perfect. I have two choices now, I either go forward, forward or to the side here. I think I'm gonna go forward guys. This looks like a place I could see myself making a base on. What on the chest? This is no cap, a place I can see myself making a base on. Okay, I'm gonna need to use my torch very soon. Dire halls are vicious. I have one. They're very, very vicious. Make sure you get one. Dire halls are amazing. They're bad because they kill you easily, but they're very good once you have one of them. They also are very. You can also mount them, and they're great mounts. That one's stuck, so it's an easy target. Dodge. Yeah, they're vicious because unlike most pals, he will attack you on sight. He's very vicious. Oh great, another egg. Bro. Stop giving me eggs, I don't have any room for them anymore. What can I drop? I don't want to drop anything. 
I guess I'm gonna drop the fiber. Okay, yeah, I I, I gotta crawl. I gotta cross the w the water to go there. See what's up on that island right there. It's getting very dark now. Oh, but you have an EV with a bigger fur coat. Yeah, I do. It's the only paw I have left alive. All all of my other paws are down for count. So I gotta I gotta find a place to build a base soon, because they're all um fainted basically. Yeah, Mega Sphere. This looks like a good place for a base, man. Look at that. Mount Obsidian. Interesting. Can I even make a base here? I don't have any stone! But yeah, I think I can. I I'm gonna have to get three stone to figure out whether I can make a base here. But if I can, this looks like a good place. Yeah, it's getting very dark now. This looks like a very big volcano. And this looks like man-made. Or alien made. Look, it looks alien made. Huge metal structure. I have stone right here. Um, thing is, I don't think I can carry it. Three stone, okay. Um, I would have to drop something. What's this? Low grade of medical supplies. That would be stupid to drop. Um, gunpowder. I could probably drop Grum Gunpowder. Not sure I want to, but I could. I guess I'm gonna drop Gunpowder. Just, just for now. I can get it later. Just so we can get the stone. Okay, got stone. Alright, let's see if we can make a base here. Somewhere. Kinda like around here. Yeah, we're allowed. We could, in theory, make a base here. Let's see if we can find a better place, though. Again, the, the whole premise with this playthrough is finding the best base location before we make one. I don't want to make a base I'm going to regret like I did in my first playthrough. I want to choose a very good location.
Yeah, this could be a volcano. What does the map look like? Yeah, it's all- see, it's all dark and gloomy. Another chest! Ooh, medium parcel. I don't have any room. That sucks. Bro. What am I gonna drop? Coarse ammo, maybe? Leather. I'm not gonna use the leather for a long time. Pulse are important. Pulse sphere. Okay, this kind of looks like a good place. This low key looks like a good option. It has like rocks protecting it around. Look. See? It's kind of well protected from all angles. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of decent. Oh, bro, look at the size of this egg. Oh my god. Holy, I gotta screenshot this. Hold on. Oh, but. Dine, why you at the volcano? Because I'm exploring. Look at the size of the egg I found! What am I supposed to do with this? Jesus! Oh my god, I gotta carry this, but I, I, I'm not gonna have either room or, or, you know, anything. This is insane! <laughs> Bro. This will probably weigh like a hundred kilograms. I can't even ha I don't even have anything. Can I can I actually maybe remove this? Aguma sleeve. No. Yeah, it weighs a ton. It weighs 50. It literally weighs 50 kilograms. Holy crap, this is huge! Okay, I, I have to I have to choose a base location now. Because um I basically cannot can no longer carry stuff around man. I'm having to abandon everything. But you know, oh, but. This egg is worth it. Well, of course it's huge, that's what it says. Yeah, but I mean, this thing is probably a dragon of some kind. There's no way this thing is not a dragon being this huge. There's just no way it's not a dragon. Okay. 
Can I just teleport by clicking here? No, I can't. There is no way this is not a dragon. Let's go back. I'm, I'm really curious as to what that's gonna turn into. Like, I'm really curious about all of the eggs, but especially that one. I don't think I ever saw something that huge before. Alright, let's try to find a place to settle down now. I'm gonna stop exploring, just try to find a place to settle down. Oh, but it becomes a giant EB. Nah, it has to be either a dragon or, you know, one of those sinister things. Because it's just too big to be just like a normal pal. Like something like that. Maybe it's it's a Nightwing. It could be a Nightwing egg, egg being that big. Another effigy right there. Let's go take it. Because those are important. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight that. He's gonna kill me one hit for sure. Actually, you know what? Let's fight it so it kills me so I can move away. Wait, what? I'm doing damage to it? No, no cap. I can get one of those. No way I can get him. No way. No way, Kramus is gonna, is gonna help me get him. You be putting in the work. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Stop. Stop damaging it. Stop damaging it. No way. I'm gonna have an Ike Wing. No way. Holy crap, it's mine! Bro! That's so cool! Wow! There we go, we have a Nightwing now. Hobot. EV strong. Yeah, flying mount, let's go! Okay, where am I? Okay, I'm in a new island. Creamy, Creamus did save me. Oh, also, whenever you see a syndicate center like that, there's always a rare Paul inside that you can save and capture for yourself. I got a, an extremely rare one from raiding one of those. Gigasphere. I'm not gonna have room for a Gigasphere. Wood. Yeah, wood. I'm sorry, but Gigasphere is better than you. Bumbo Groves. See, it's a rare one I don't have yet. She's mine now. Bristle level 12. So you basically save them and you run. 
before the enemy can ca can catch you. Or if you got gear, you can actually fight. I'm just running because, you know, I'm naked. Bro, I don't have enough arrow arrows to fight you. Relaxers. Level 18. I cannot take those. This area is very high level, I think. It looks like a high level area. That's the base I just raided, isn't it? No, it's another one. With another, um, another, another rare Paul. Let's go take it. They're having like a, a battle down there. Bro, I just want to free this thing, capture it to get it for me and get out. Please ignore me, keep fighting. Okay, I have another rare, come on. To to toko Toko. And now the game is lagging, and I'm gonna die. Bro, it's really lagging right now. I'm dead. Yep, and the game really lagged out. Okay, we're gonna respawn uh here forgotten island we've collected so many different paws i'm really happy with with that we have a lot of them six the prude put in the work put in the hours and take what's ours yeah and every single one of the ones i personally caught are males is this a male guy? Yeah. I guess I get a new boy One wife. One more hour. You're gonna become my boy wife. Okay, I don't wanna use another arrow. No, you're you're going to the ball, bro. You're my slave now. I don't want to hit him again because I'm going to kill him. Come on, get in the ball. Yeah! I got you, boy ice now. Let's go. And I got the, uh, the police is after me because I got you human slaves. So we just run from the police. We run. We take our victims and we run. Bro. I'm gonna be wanted for a while now. That's the second one I, I catch. <laughs> Okay, now we need to find a base. I think that thing, that island ahead is could be a good base if I can build there. Let's find out. This looks really nice for a base, man. Look at that. It looks lovely. 
Can I make a base here? I can! Let's go! Okay, this is this will be our base of operations. Wait, let me just get out of here first before those guys end up killing me. But yeah, I'm gonna establish my base right here. This looks perfect. Where is it? Yeah, th this is the place, I think. Okay, I'm no longer wanted. Should I make it here or on the, the little island ahead? I could make it on the island here. I don't know. I mean, this place is good enough. How defendable is that island? I think this is better though, right? It is pretty protectable and has a little bit more resources than the island. Yeah, this looks this looks cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna build here. All right, this is where we settle. Right here. I don't want to build too close to the cliff, because if we do. Pauls are gonna spa spawn on the cliff. But right there, I think it's good enough. There we go! And w this is all the pets we do have now. We're gonna have to put all of these back in here so they can. Be restored because they're all down downed but we have a lot of them holy oh crap God. why do you catch so many okay so the reason why is because I was going around and just collecting pets before I even established my base this is all I did see I have a lot of them all the all the kinds I I, I oh I saw I wouldn't caught. Evie be smart to keep in the party. I think so. Yeah, let's keep Evie. Bro, I want to have Jolt Hog in a power party because he's electric. I also want to have Flambelle because it looks really cool. And maybe Vixie, Air Cannon, um, Celery. Nightwing, let's put Nightwing. Oh, but why not the one EV help catch? Yeah, Nightwing is right here. He's in a party. Alright, let's make a table, crafting table. Actually, we gotta make a wooden chest first and get rid of some of the stuff we, we're carrying. We're just carrying too much. Oh, I sent that before you added them as I'm on a delay. Okay, no problem. Where are my human slaves? Maybe those two slots that are in the box. Oh, Hold that on. makes sense. With no icon. Oh, Six that could three. be it. Not I'm clipping that. 
you can clip it, it's fine. I do have two human slaves. And they're both cute. And I only caught them because they're cute. Admit it. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here, I think. Against this rock. Perfect. I'm still encumbered. I got wood, but do I have stone? No, I do not have stone. Why do I need to craft the box? I need more stone. Okay. Okay. Now let's craft the box, because... I can no longer endure being being cumbered, but it's driving me crazy. And carrying all those eggs, I gotta eventually put it in an incubator. Oh my god, hold on. Let me drop something. I don't need seven of them to boot, do I? Oh, uh, let's drop two. God damn it. Let's drop one. Not enough. Let's drop two. Three. Drop. Okay. Dude, can I can I actually make a chest now? No, I need two more. God damn it. Don't get encumbered, kids. It sucks. At least I got close enough. Here we go. There we go. Alright, now we're gonna store all of the eggs that are basically weighing, weighing us down. Look at how many eggs, man. This is crazy. I got four water eggs. One, three fire eggs. Large common egg. Verdant egg. They were the like the biggest weight I was carrying was just eggs. I still got I, I still need more more room for eggs. I got a rocky egg as well. I'm gonna make another chest. I need more wood, more stone. But now I can carry everything. I'm no longer encumbered now. There. Here we're gonna put the stone egg and the other normal egg and electrical egg. Uh, we're done with eggs now. Okay, good. Okay, I feel so much so much lighter now. Alright, um, who are we going to assign to the base? Probably these fo this, these characters. Bro, this is a level 20. 
No wonder I got killed when I got it. Like, sure, this one is level 12. But this one's a level 20. I'm gonna assign this guy to the base for now, Gumos. Because I'm know he's, he's pretty useful. He does a lot of things. Actually, let's put the human in the base. Oh, look at he! Look at this! It's it's my Humi. Vagrant Challenger. Look at him! <laughs> it's my human slave. Hello. Where are you going? He's just walking. Wait, he's just walking away. Wait, no way. He should be working, right? Humans are not Pauls, therefore they do not possess Paul partner skills. That's that's sad. I think I have another human though. Don't don't I? Yeah, I do. I got two of the same one. All right. Let's put the other one in and see if that makes any difference. This one's clumsy. So one of them is clumsy, the other one is not. Yeah, we don't want any clumsiness in the base. Do they work though? I gotta make them work. I guess they just patrol. I don't know. Alright, uh, can I make a fire? I need wood. Okay, let's get wood. That's easy. Let's have a f uh, campfire going on. I guess it just worked like... Um, Bodyguards, I don't know. Alright, let's make a fire. Uh, let's put the fire next to the crafting table for now. Right here. Just in time too, because I was beginning to get cold. There. <laughs> He's asleep. What a bomb. Okay, what else are we gonna do? Let's look at the the, ta the mission table. Base upgrade. Base upgrade, level 2. Build shoddy bed. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Pause without beds will get stressed. I'm sorry, but I gotta, I gotta make a, hum uh, a human bed, so that's not gonna be for a while. Because I, I need to make a house before I can make human beds. So I think I'm just going to have a Paul out for now. Because Paul beds are easy to make. Yeah, let's keep the humans in here until I have a house, I guess. Let's bring out um, the chicken. And the gumas. Actually, not the chicken. The sheep. You're asleep? Oh yeah, it's night time. Okay, sure. Alright, straw beds. Where are we gonna place our straw beds? Not around the crafting table. That's kind of lame. Um, let's 
Was this a good place? No, it's not. I think this this is actually a good place. Let's put them here. I need more wood. Okay. Actually, let's craft this one first. First bed is built, we need more wood. Here we go. They're cute when they're, they're asleep. Okay, um... Once they wake up, I'm gonna assign someone to break- I don't think they can break stone. I need- I need a cat to break stone. Um... Base upgrade. I need to build it. Okay. Going to level 3 requires you to make a house. So. Let's replace the sheep with the cat. So he can break stone for now. Once, once it's, you know. Time to work. Oh, he actually went to his bed. That's cute. When it's time to work, I'm gonna have him break the rock. Uh, let's make... Let's learn how to make a berry thing. Where's the berry thing? Berry plantation. And feed box. We're gonna make a berry plantation. I need more wood and stone, okay. Hobot. Shouldn't you make clothes? Uh yeah, I'll do that in a second. Definitely having clothes is a good, good, good thing, yeah. I can't be naked king all the time. Eventually I'm gonna have to have clothes. Why is my weapon damaged? I need to make a repair station. Okay, let's make the... F oh, we need stone, right? Yeah. Why is my cat fighting? What the hell is the cat fighting? Oh, he's cr he's already getting stone. Look at that. Damn, I love that cat. Thank you, kitty. Okay, let's make plantation. Where can I plant the berries? 
it's for the ball, so we guess I guess we can make it on the corner here. Or maybe I don't know, ahead of the beds? Nah, because there's gonna be more beds. Uh Next to the beds. This this looks good, right? Yeah, you make it. Good job, kitty. You get head pets. Dude. What's why is Kamal so lazy? Come here. Get to work. Bro, wake up. Pobot. Each pal has a specific role for them. I know. But uh, Gumos is a very good seeder. He plants seeds, and I'm basically building something he can plant the, his the seeds on. Oh, here he goes. Awesome. Good job. Yeah. That's exactly what I was expecting. Thank you. See the way. That's that's why I have Gilmaws right there. For planning. Alright, let's make the feed box. And we're gonna put it... Here? Alright, kitty, get to it. I guess I'm gonna have to do that, because I don't think he knows all. Okay, let's put some berries in here so they're not hungry until the plantation is completed. After, uh, I don't have a water. I, I can. I have a, someone that can water, but I ha I'd rather have Kitty on the base for now. But eventually, I'm gonna put someone to water the seeds as well. I'm gonna water it myself for now. Kitty's on a short break. Okay, I, I can I can understand that. Now he's gonna go. He went back back to breaking stones. Perfect. Good job. All right. Uh, now someone will probably pick up the berries once they're okay. Um, I need to make a. Uh, Repair bench. And also a wooden structure site. I guess we can't put the repair bench right here. Alright, awesome. Now we, we're gonna repair the axe. Is it repaired? I think it is. Yeah, kitty, break that stone. Perfect, because it's very close to the box, so it could just store it in the box. Great, you do that. And I'm gonna break some wood.
What is why is Gumas just walking around? I think I'm gonna put him on uh, wooding duty if he's just gonna walk around. Okay, I can't even move. So I'm carrying so much wood. Uh, let's drop some. I'll pick it up a little later. Let's put these in a box. Not this box, it's full. This box. Alright. Beachfront property. Uh oh, drop some again. Once I have the the pet the Paul to water the the seeds, I'm good. Cause then I can assure foot supplies while I'll go around and do other things. See, he's seeding again. But I need uh, um someone to water it. Scale you plays. You need a bigger backpack. Ah uh, yeah. It's just that I'm getting so much wood, so I'm basically storing down the wood on the chests. Wood is heavy. Upset and not willing to do any tasks? Why? What happened? I think he needs a hug. Why are you upset? Slacking off? Open menu. Pet. Okay, are you better now? Do you feel better? Scale your plays. Also, don't forget to make clothes. Okay, yeah, Paul already reminded me. Don't worry, I, I, I get it. You guys don't want me, don't want me walking around naked. I, I'll, 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 oh, I'll put something on very soon. I already told him. Yeah. <laughs> Why is he upset? Why are you slacking off? Come here. You can take breaks and just don't have to slack off. Here, break the stone. You're gonna feel better. Keep working. Oh, but do they have beds? Yes, they do. Look, he's just randomly not wanting to work. <laughs> uh, let me try feeding him. He's not sick or anything. He's just slacking off. Never mind. He's happy now. All right, here we go. He just wanted attention. Okay, I think I got wool, so I could probably make some clothes. Hold on, let me see. Technology. Uh, cloth, cloth outfit. 
But wait, I, I have a better outfit that I want. Which is... Hobot. You can make the foxes into flamethrowers. I know that, yeah. And you can give them a monkey a uh, machine gun. Where's the outfit I saw? Hold on. I saw a better outfit. This one. Heat resistant. No, it's not it's not this one. It's a it's just a little bit lower. In any case, I can't I can't access this yet. Okay, here it oh, is. But. Tropical outfit. Tundra isn't unlocked. Yeah, I gotta get this one. Uh, tropical outfit. First, I gotta learn how to make cloth, which is this one. Uh, Paul Gear Workbench is gonna be very useful. Statue of Power. Um, accelerate gloves. You can use celery as a glider. Wow, that's so cool. I think I just gotta upgrade my base so I can get these kind of stuff here. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna make this one, guys. I I want I specifically want to make this one, the tropical one, cause I'm I'm living in an island. So let's make let's make the house first, cause then we can upgrade the base, and then I can make the outfit I want to make. Okay, I'm, I'm probably encumbered already. Oh no! I walked over the stone! Drop for now. Kitty is just working non-stop. That's why he was stressed out. I, I, I know how that feels, so understand him. It's like me, I'm like that at work too. I guess I can carry fiber, it's light. Let's help him out by carrying his stone to the box. My axe already broke. Hold on. Repair. Repaired. Yeah, okay. Okay, 
we got all the wood we need. So now we're gonna build the house so we can have a bed, so we can upgrade um, the base level, and then we can get the outfit I wanna get. Let's drop some of the wood. Actually, not all of it, just some of it. So we can carry the rest. There. Perfect. Now, um, infrastructure. Here, foundation. Wooden foundation. Where are we gonna make our house? Um, I guess we could make a house kind of around here. Okay, we have a wooden foundation. Now we make walls. Put a window. Uh, that view is just too pretty to not have two windows on the side. I would feel bad not having windows. Uh, now we put that there, that there, uh, that there. Perfect. Same thing in the front. There. Now we make a roof. Pro. There. Level up. And come on, no, there. Bro, here we go. All right, last one. Come on, go to the right place. There we go, we have a house. Now we can actually make a shoddy bed. Then we're gonna place the shoddy bed right there thank you kitty there we go
Now we can upgrade the base level. And now I can probably get the outfit I want. See, I, I can. I told you guys. Now I'm gonna actually craft the outfit, outfit I want. Because uh, we need cloth recipe. We can make the cloth. Max, start production. Kitty will do it for me. Let me help him out. I can't. Actually, I can. Never mind. Thank you. Right, now let's make the outfit. See? Tropical outfit. This is the one I wanted. It looks a lot better. You'll see. See, I'm no longer naked. Are you happy now? <laughs> this looks way better than the other one. I'm sorry. It does. So much better. Alright. Um, next up, we're going to have a the duck. So he can water the seeds. See, he, he already knows his job. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Straight up, he knows what he has to do. What else? Do I need to upgrade the base again. Uh, straw Paul bed. Okay. Scale your plays. Much better, lol. Damn, you guys are so bothered by my nakedness. <laughs> okay, I cannot build the bed there, but I can make it... Here? Nope. Let's make it stair. Perfect. You can go back to watering. Let me build this. It's, it's fine. Yeah, now we'll go back to watering. Thank you. And now we're gonna put a Humi in the base. Where's my Humi? Not the clumsy one, the other one. <laughs> Let's see if he's gonna find somebody to work with. Or if he's just gonna stand there. Because I don't know what captured humans do. Is this gonna work? Right now, he seems to have a pathing problem. He's stuck at the Paul beds. Yeah, let's finish this rock here so it doesn't look terrible in the middle of the base. Actually, I, I still can carry stuff, so... I think there's another rock somewhere. Oh, he's sleeping in the pole bed! <laughs> what? He threw 
truly is a slave. Look at that. That's funny. Actually, I'm gonna go sleep too, so we have more light. There we go. It was getting way too dark. Okay, let's see if he's gonna work now. I'm curious. He's just gonna walk around. Okay, they're producing berries, and there's a feed box next to it, so I hope they actually place that there. Okay, I'm encumbered, but we don't have any uh, rocks around anymore, except for that one. We're gonna break that one next, for sure. Let's drop some of the rocks here. You know what? I think I'm gonna put some points into not having to walk around encumbered all the time. Um. Wait. Let's go for 400 weight. That way I'm not encumbered so often. I can upgrade the base again because I already got a plantation. So let's do that. Um, let's bring out some someone else. Let's put the sheep to work. Um, Paul Gear Workbench and st Statue of Power. Actually, let's put Dari Hao out. Okay. Um, what else? Paul Gear Workbench. Do I already have that? I do. Let's put that next to the other benches. Yeah, sheep, get to work. Oh, Humi also works. Good. Good slave. Too bad I can't pet him. I love that both my slaves look exactly the same. Alright, now I get a bit of Statue of Power. Do I have that? Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, you're not gonna be facing backwards like you did last time. I remember. Well, also, we're gonna put it in somewhere with a better location, like right next to the table. On this side. Here it looks fine. Alright guys, get to work. Perfect. Alright. Now we can go one more level. And we're gonna get another Humi in here. My other slave. Perfect. They both look the same, which is hilarious. 
And we have a functional base. Going pretty well. Okay, Crusher, Stone Pit, and Logging Site. Okay, I'm not gonna build those now. Uh, enhance player stats. That's what's important. I need more stuff to be able to... I need three more effigies. I want to build a saddle for my Dire Howl so I can ride them. Where is it? Dire Howl saddle. I need leather. Bro, I'm pretty sure I dropped lead, a lot of leather at some point because I didn't have any room for it. Which sucks. Because I could have the leather right now. Sad. We're gonna get leather, don't worry. Right, we have a free functional base, let's just make some arrows. And then I, I can go to Fortnite and keep keep it up some other time. You guys up to playing Fortnite? Um... 21? That's too much. Let's make 15. Someone get to it. Yeah. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Good boy, wife. Make my errors. Scale you plays. Sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna make arrows and then and then I'm, I'm off to Fortnite if you guys wanna play it. Cause I'm pretty I'm pretty done with the base in the sense that um I'm just gonna go out to explore with my paws now. The base is pretty much self sufficient. I got someone planting berries, I got someone watering them. Um, the sheep normally just takes the, the berries to the feeding thing. We got beds, we got everything. Actually, I actually need to make two more beds, apparently. I'll make them. Those are really fast. Oh, but. Four minutes till it's midnight for you dine. I know. I'm gonna go to Fortnite. I'm just gonna make two more beds and then I'm, I'm off. Okay. Uh, get the arrows. Two more Paul beds. Three more. Damn. Three? Oh, yeah, three. You said to remind you. I know. Excuse me. That's one. Good job. Two. They're on the way. <laughs> Bro, this is so cool. Look at all of them working. There. Okay, so now we actually have a functional 100% base. That guy seeds, that guy waters, the sheep grabs the seeds, put, it in, put them in the feed box so they have food. They have beds, um, we have plenty of wood, we have stone, we have everything. So I can just take my party and just get out. We have 71 arrows, 63 spheres, so we're good to go. We have everything we need. Now I just need to get leather so I can make my dire halls a saddle. Dire halls are amazing. Paws, they can just 
kill everything. They're super vicious. And we're pretty much good. So yeah, this is a good stopping point. And this game is ridiculously addictive, guys. Honestly. If you're not playing this yet, know that once you do, you're gonna get addicted.